Chapter 3 Welcome the New King The elves continued in their determined search for the remaining elemental sprites. Many generations of elfin adventurers returned unsuccessful in their quest to find the missing sprites, until eventually a very special and gifted new king stepped up to take the throne. His name was Solon, and on his coronation day, he too inherited both the element of power and the warriors that had been recovered thus far, safely sealed and protected inside the Whatnot Book. Solon too had a mystic, as this had become a long-standing tradition among the royal family. During his reign, Solon forged a pact with the race of trolls that lived below, a pact thought beneficial to both. Although the trolls could not use magic, they could design and construct great weapons and useful devices for the elves. The trolls benefited from this arrangement by living inside the elfin borders in the protected and prosperous lands. Some of the other tribes resented this, claiming the trolls were too barbaric to live amongst them. By the time of Solon's coronation, the Whatnot Book was very nearly full. Only one elemental sprite still eluded the royals. Each new king was trained to use the elemental warriors by a tribe known as the Twycross. Now it was Solon's turn. He too would learn to use their powers. The Twycross were close to nature, and legend had it that they could communicate directly with its spirits. They were harmonious with the ways of the earth, an aptitude Solon found most refreshing. Because of this, Solon took quite easily to the use of the elemental warriors. His mentor was a Twycross elder named Teramus. He taught the young king how to become proficient and skillful with the elemental warriors. Solon visited often, and became fast friends with Teramus and his family. During one such sojourn, Solon met with a beautiful female elf named Thena, with whom he fell in love. Solon took her as his queen and brought her family, Halas, Lenya, and Yeros, to live with them in the enchanted kingdom. At the same time, and unknown to Solon, Thorn, the biggest and strongest troll anyone had ever seen, was gaining power and influence throughout the land. Unable to use magic, trolls prized strength and brute force above all else. Because of this, it was easy for Thorn to declare himself King of all Trolls. Thorn planted the seeds of discontent in his people, and they became increasingly unhappy with living and working as subjects in the Elfin lands. They wanted more for themselves, and resented being looked down upon as brutish by the other tribes. Eventually, their jealousy and resentment led to terrorizing and stealing from the other tribes in the area. Meanwhile, Solon was still fulfilling his legacy, and had miraculously and as if by fate uncovered the location of the last elemental sprite. With the Whatnot Book finally complete, Solon returned to the Enchanted Kingdom only to realize what the trolls had been doing in his absence. Solon was furious. Using the power of all ten elemental warriors, he completely routed Thorn and the trolls from his lands. Then he banished them into exile so that they could no longer enjoy the prosperity of the elves' fertile crops, clean air and pure water. Solon next confronted the mystic. How could she have let this happen? How could her crystal eye not have shown her Thorn's treachery? And wasn't it her duty to protect the royal elves? He would have banished the mystic too, were it not for Thena, who calmed her husband and reminded him that it was elfin tradition. A king must always have a mystic who was knowledgeable in the ways of transformation magic. Solon relented, but still punished the mystic by forcing her to leave the palace. Forevermore, she had to live in a hut amongst the goblins, and her trusted position in the royal court was taken from her. She no longer meant anything to Solon. With the trolls banished and Solon back home in the enchanted kingdom, an era of peace began in the elfin realm. 
It was during this time that Thena gave birth to a baby girl, whom they named Callus. Little did they suspect that while in exile, Thorn and his seven troll lords had begun to plot for war. <laughs> 